Hello everybody, this is Yoko's Anime Reactions, and this is going to be my review for Seven Deadly Sins Season 3 Episode 1, Wrath of the Gods. And um, before I go any further, uh, the site that I usually get my- Chloe, you gotta be in here. Come here. Come here. Over here. Come on. Really? Up oh, here. Jump. Jump. Good girl. This is the little puppy that got her surgery. She's doing just fine now. <laughs> Almost gave me a kiss. <laughs> anyway, let me get rid of her. Hang on. Let me get my headphones off. Sorry about that. Um. Anyway, what I was trying to say is the site that I usually get my anime from, which is Kiss Anime, where I go on, get the episode I need, or binge download some episodes if I'm planning on, you know, doing a lot of recordings. I download the episodes, do the recordings, and then delete the episodes so I don't have to watch to watch later. Well... Um, Raven Fighter told me in Discord while it was at work that Kiss Anime is gone. I was like, what? Is it down or something? That's what I thought she meant. He meant, she meant, whoever. And, um, when I got home, I checked it. It was actually gone. Oh, it's, I clicked on the link I have saved for it. And it said that the videos were all taken down and the site is gone forever. I was like, oh, that's not good. Because there are very few sites that you can trust enough that you won't get like a virus to be able to download anime on. That you can actually download anime on. Because some of the sites you can get anime on, like Crunchyroll Funimation, you can't download the episodes. That's only for streaming. So, thankfully, before, when I had an issue with Kiss Anime before, when I wouldn't let me download episodes for some strange reason, uh, I had found another site, and I was actually able to get what I needed from there. I don't know how often it's, um, updated when it comes to, you know, new episodes and stuff, but, uh, I was able to find Seven Deadly Sins, Wrath of the Gods, the dub, on there, which is great, because I just finished obviously recording for it. So yeah, um, that's what's going to be happening from now on, is I'm going to get my episodes from there. Worst case, I would have to go on Funimation and record it that way. So there would be ads and they would probably be laggy. So that's the worst case scenario. Now actually the worst case scenario is I wouldn't be able to do it anymore. Funimation is probably the second worst case. Anyway, this is taking place not long after the events of Season 2, and Meliodas and the others are going around and destroying any demons they can find, and saving people that were being captured and being led away to sacrifice. And, uh, obviously Meliodas is still thinking about what he told Elizabeth before about how every time he dies, he regresses a little bit further back into his old ways. And he doesn't want that because that means he's going to be evil again and he doesn't want to hurt anybody that he cares about. <coughs> and Bond tells him, well, whatever baggage you've got going on, you're still my friend. Which is good. Anyway, um, everything is being rebuilt back in Leonis. <coughs> and... They're getting ready to reveal who the next Grandmaster is going to be because they don't have one anymore. And Hauser thinks it's going to be either Dreyfus or Hendrickson. I was blanked on the, on the name for the moment. And uh, we get a little tidbit on what the other Ten Commandments are doing. And I can't remember the guy's name and I just watched the freaking episode. The Commandment of Piety... Uh, he had found, obviously, Esther Rosa because of the whole 
Escanor versus Sister Rosa fight. Obviously, the guy lost. And he's being, or he's recovering, essentially. How much damage he took, we will never know, because this is when he's just about recovered at this point, because he finally wakes up in this episode. And Derriere and the other guy are missing, though from what we saw, they were destroyed. If I'm wrong, let me know, just don't reveal, just don't... If I'm wrong or right, don't... Just tell me it'll be revealed at some point whether I'm right or wrong. Anyway, uh, obviously... Gloxemia and, uh, the other guy are missing as well. They went into, I guess, went into hiding. And the lady who takes all the souls and stuff, she's still alive. We haven't seen her, though. But the pacifist demon, uh, Fraudrin, and who else? Uh... Dang it, I'm trying to remember which other the Oh! Uh, Galen were all defeated, so out of all the Ten Commandments so far, seven of them are, seven of them are confirmed gone. We have, um, two that we think are dead, so that would have been five, so they would have been halfway destroyed. Sadly, we don't know yet. Anyway, uh, they go to help the village that was being, um, farmed, I guess you could say, for sacrifices from travelers, essentially, because essentially when a traveler would show up, they would get captured, and when they got enough, they would send them over to be sacrificed to the Ten Commandments. A little boy, uh, I assume he was named after Meliodas, because his name is, what was his name, Peliod, and he calls himself Peliodas? Don't ask me. Anyway, he wants to fight back against the demons, and even though obviously he can't fight, and he's way out of his league, he tries to defend the people from the demon that's trying to capture them, and it's almost at almost the point where they could possibly all get killed, but thankfully Meliodas and the others show up. Except for obviously Bon and King, because they're still in the Fairy King Forest. And I think it's- I found it amusing when the demon was trying to punch, uh... Escanor, and he was just standing there, and we don't get to see until afterwards that he was just thought of it as a massage. <laughs> he just literally said it was a massage, and it was just average. And... Yeah, most of the demons are killed, except for the tentacle demon, and he just runs away with his tail between his legs. Just like Melio just told him to. And, uh... Two other things end up happening... The new boar hat is revealed because the last one got destroyed, and it looks a whole lot better, a lot bigger, and much nicer. It's not like... It, I mean, it does look a lot nicer, I just wonder who built it, because I assume the king funded it, but who built it? Anyway, and the new grandmaster is revealed, and Hauser thinks, obviously, like I said, it's Dreyfus or Hendrickson, and they deny that it's them. Turns out, and I actually thought when they said that, that he was going to be Meliodas or something, and that would make sense, he picks Hauser. I was even shocked at this. I was like, really? And Hauser was obviously, well, in disbelief at this point, because he didn't think he was obviously worthy of being a Grandmaster, because his whole family is com are commoners, and the king is like, so? Yeah. I think Hauser could possibly be... Possibly, with obviously training and experience, be a good grandmaster. But then again, anybody could possibly do that if they have obviously the people's interest, best interest in mind, and the kingdom's best. best if they have the country's best interests in mind, then they could be great with time and experience. Anyway, if I miss anything important, please let me know. Other than bon other than King uh, trying to figure out why he hasn't grown wings yet. Which I'm sure he will eventually. Anyway, I'll see you guys next time.